with a hundred million dollars. Twenty things you didn't know about Lamelo Ball. And for number twenty, there's no way you knew just how crazy Lamelo's 2020 Puma deal was. Cause he not only walked away with a hundred million dollars, but he also got unlimited access to Puma's custom. $14 million dollar private jet. And our boy Mello deserves it. Dude's been balling out since he was a kid. In fact, I bet you didn't know about number 19 on our list. Mello was so good at basketball that he committed to UCLA, one of the top basketball colleges in the country, at only 13 years old. 13. And he was literally in middle school. But you know, the kid is just full of surprises. I mean, you probably had no idea about number 18. Romello started shooting on an NBA-sized hoop, but he was still wearing diapers. Tell me about what age and some of the drills you did and when you knew the basketball meant everything to you. Uh, well, really, when I was like three, playing on like a 10-foot hoop. You, you know, know. Said, oh, you said drills and stuff. Yeah, we really didn't do drills. You said three years old? Yeah, yeah, three. On a 10-foot hoop? Yeah, in fact. <laughs> Damn, that's impressive. But not as impressive as number 17. The fact that Lamelo has already broken three different pro basketball records. I mean, he's not only the youngest player to win NBA Rookie of the Year, he's also the youngest to score a triple double in the NBA and the NBL, Australia's pro basketball league. But that's not even the greatest thing Lamelo's done in Australia. Because in number 16, you might not have known that he helped the entire country survive one of the biggest disasters in world history. See, during the 2020 Australian wildfires, while thousands of families were losing their homes and lives, Lamelo donated a month of his NBL salary, over a hundred thousand dollars, to victims of the fires, saying, my parents taught me to help out wherever I can, so this is my way of helping out. And when it comes to looking out for people in need, Lamelo was just getting started. Because for number 15, I doubt you knew that a year later, Lamelo decided to help the homeless people of Charlotte by donating 500 blankets to the Salvation Army. Thank you, Lamelo, for all of the blankets to keep the homeless warm. Team, Wow, homeless people, fire victims, this man Lamelo is a hero. Which brings us to number 14. You probably didn't know that Lamelo has starred in commercials for two different superhero movies, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and Black Widow. Dude, that was Black Widow. Alright, alright, let's be honest. You know, Lamelo grew up in front of cameras, so we should have seen his acting career coming. But number 13, nobody could have predicted. Because what if I told you that Lamelo Ball literally has the worst middle name in NBA history? I mean, his parents made Lonzo's middle name Anderson, Leangelo's Robert, and they made Lamelo's middle name, what, France? Ugh. But it turns out Lamelo liked that name so much that in 2020, he dropped an exclusive clothing line called La France. But this wasn't his first move in the fashion industry. Cause for number 12, you might have known that Lamelo is the youngest athlete to have their own signature shoe. But did you know it almost got him sued? See, back in 2017, after Lamelo dropped his big baller brand MB1 shoe, a Canadian yoga studio accused them of stealing their company's logo. So uh, I put them side by side to see. And uh, I guess I can kind of see it. But what do you guys think? Now, for number 11, you might have seen Melo's first viral moment, calling a shot from half court. Why, you probably had no clue that this shot earned 16-year-old Lamelo the respect of an NBA legend. I wondered if you saw the high school player that pulled up from half court, Lamelo Ball. Did you see that? High I high? did. I did. That was some confidence right there. Right there. Hey, I, was, I wonder if you've done it before and missed it. No, you said it's the highlight-driven, you know, generation. So that right there was pretty, pretty unbelievable. All right. We're entering the top 10 of our list, so things are about to get even crazier. Because what if I told you there's a fourth 
Ball brother, you had no idea exists. And he played on the historic Chino Hills high school team with Lonzo, Leangelo, and Lamella. Yeah, I'm talking about the one and only Andre Ball. Oh, wait, hold up. Actually, Andre's Lamella's cousin. But there's still four members of the Ball family on the same high school team. And that's crazy, but not as crazy as number nine. See, Mello became the youngest American ever to play pro basketball, signing with BC Batotas in Lithuania. Now, you probably think playing pro ball, Mello would have made millions or at least thousands, right? Well, it turns out that Mello's contract was for just $500 a month, and this man could have made more money at McDonald's. But hey, these days money ain't an issue for Mello. He's just trying to get back to the community, and... What he's doing for the kids of Charlotte and number eight is life changing. See, you might not have heard that Mello created his very own basketball school, the one of one prep academy. And at this school, kids not only get the opportunity to meet Lamelo, but to learn everything that it takes to make it to the NBA. Now, this alone is an amazing way for Lamelo to give back to the youth. But I bet you didn't know he took his kindness to a whole Boy. level in number seven. See, that's for some beer. We grow the barley that makes your beer. I grow the rice. I make the steam. No steam, no beer. We make the dance. See, back in 2020, Mello decided he was going to surprise his mom with the ultimate birthday gift. So, he took her to visit Vernon Middle, a school that she used to teach at, and did something special for the students in his mom's honor. One of Lamelo's classmates, Lexi Anderson, was suffering from a rare heart condition, and she desperately needed money for a heart transplant. So after Melo's viral 92-point performance, he decided to dedicate the game to her on Twitter as a way to raise awareness. And within just two days, Melo helped raise over $20,000 for Lexi's heart transplant. So thankfully, she was able to get the surgery she needed. And after all the good things Lamelo's done, it's hard to believe that people still hate on him. But hey, man, he's still got plenty of supporters. In fact, I bet you didn't know number five. Lamelo's biggest fan is none other than Kevin Durant. Yeah, back in 2017, Melo pulled up to his 16th birthday party driving a Lambo. And when KD found out, he took to Twitter to show Melo some love. But when some random troll tweeted back at KD calling Lamelo spoiled, Kevin went on a rampage, getting into a full-blown Twitter war with the guy, capping it off by calling out the dude for not dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Yeah, that's right. So what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad KD had Melo's back here, but... Why the hell was he in number four? Because uh, I doubt you knew about the time that LaMelo Ball came face to face with a shark and barely got out alive. Episode of WWE Raw 
and with his dad in the ring flexing on another wrestler, Mello thought it'd be a good idea to say this. This incident caused a media firestorm. People were literally trying to cancel WWE, so they were forced to immediately put out a statement saying, Lamelo's comment was not scripted and does not reflect the values of the WWE. Well, uh, Mello's wrestling career may be over, but hey, the dude's got a backup plan that's making him millions. There's no way you know about number two. Lamelo Ball's exclusive line of NFTs. You see, in June 2021, Lamelo dropped four unique tokens with prices ranging from 100 bucks to over $500,000. God damn! But all that money doesn't go to waste because owning a Lamelo Ball NFT comes with some pretty dope perks like raffles for NBA tickets, autographed memorabilia, or even Lamelo's high school championship ring. Hold up. I'm about to buy a Lamelo NFT right now. But before I do, we got one more fact about Lamelo Ball that I guarantee you didn't know. Because coming in at number one, we got the time that Lamelo got an entire basketball league canceled. Yup. See, back in 2018, Lamelo was traveling to Europe with his dad's JV mm -hmm. to play an in international basketball tour. When in a game against Lithuania, Melo got into a fight with another player that was ejected. Obviously, this was a bad luck for the JBA. And after this fight started going viral, all of the other European teams decided to cancel their upcoming games, forcing Lavar to end the entire international tour. Yeah, one fight for Melo got his dad's entire league canceled. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna cancel you if you don't cut this video right here. This is every NBA star's most humiliating moment. Trust me, dog. You don't wanna miss this. So what do you? Gift the Old Spice Holiday Pack with fifty dollars value, including products and coupons for twenty four seven holiday freshness. This is every NBA star's most humiliating moment. And at number 20, we got Steph Curry making the most embarrassing play of his entire career. Look at Curry, man. So inspirational. But at number 19, on the other hand, is a disgrace. Because Lonzo Ball's most humiliating I... moment was so that's it, y'all. All right, that's it, y'all. Peace. Oh, make sure to like and subscribe. I know I only have two subscribers. I'm still new on this YouTube thing. I know I only have two subscribers. I'm still new at this YouTube thing, so if you guys could like and subscribe to my channel, the subscribe button should be down there. At least give me to at least 10 or 50 subscribers, please. Please. If you like and subscribe, I'll like and subscribe your channel. I promise. Please.